Here at the HAC Training Symposium in Florida, and one of my favorite people is Craig. And I assume that everybody knows Craig, but there may be some people somewhere that doesn't know Craig. But Craig is absolutely a blessing, and he is such an inspiration to me and my channel, what we do. And, uh, and beyond that, we've become friends over the years, and it's just great. I have a down day having somebody I can talk to. And really, this is HVAC. This is the HVAC community, finding people that you can connect with, that you can talk to. And Craig, thanks for coming and speaking with us. Thanks. Yeah. Just so you guys know, everybody knows, you know, I'm looking at some of the things that Ty does. Uh, I actually look to him for a bit of encouragement, big inspirational teacher. And so it's fabulous that I can point uh, when somebody has a question, I can point them to Ty's resources, and uh, that's fantastic. I know Ty, nothing kind of gets in his way, and he just does what he knows is right uh, by everybody so that people grow in the field and in life, so that's awesome. So, thank you. So, what is it that you're doing right now? Uh, so, we are, we're making educational content. I'm actually trying to write another book, making videos. I'm trying to be a better, quote-unquote, leader. Um, I don't even like the, the phrase, but uh, I'm trying to develop those skills of where I can be an encouragement even in my own organization, trying to develop other resources, like hopefully we'll get into a podcast, get into other social media platforms. The whole thing is, and I've actually repeated this while we're here at the HVACR Symposium, how Ty has affected me in his talk, but it, it happened, so can't deny it. <laughs> Um, where you don't have to, I don't have to create a five minute, a 10 minute, 20 minute long video, something that takes a longer period of time. I, you know, whatever it is, I don't have to write a book. I could write or just get an interpretive image and write a few sentences about it. Everybody learns differently. And so I can affect change and, and help other people by doing a small post. You know, one thing I like about your, your book that you write is it's very interactive. It's not just words. You have some interactive in there and you have the pictures and how to, and it really goes with your videos. And I think it's a really awesome combination. That's different from a lot of the other books that I've read. Did you ever think you'd be writing books, making videos? No, <laughs> absolutely not. Now, how did you get started in HVAC in the first place? I like how things work. I like mechanical objects. I like to give you, for instance, how a door closes. Like, I mean, that sounds silly, right? You know, but the angle and the hinges and just how the building, you know, is laid out. I like all of that type of stuff. A lot of my family were in the construction trades. HVAC interested me. I didn't like engines and things like gas engines. I just felt like I was not great with that, but HVAC and electrical diagnosis and things. I had a job when I was 19 years old, tra traveling around the Southern half of the state in New Jersey, uh, servicing fitness equipment. So ellipticals, treadmills, <clears throat> EMC, electric scooters, jazzy wheelchairs. We would drive to people's homes and fix those things. And I was like, wow, I, I really like diagnosing. And that's where I learned how to use a multimeter at. And with uh, helping out with the youth group at our church, I knew that I liked teaching. And then when I started in the HVAC field, I liked teaching my helper. You know, I, I enjoyed that. I, thought, I found that rewarding because I was giving him any knowledge that was given to me so then he could grow and he could do what I was doing at that time, which I was the lead and he was a helper. And then I went off and had another helper train him and then he became the lead, you know, and then you just kind of move from there. So it's, it's, been, it's been awesome and it's been an awesome journey the whole time. When I feel like I don't know a lot, but I could get my point across to somebody and that can help change their path. I was talking with somebody yesterday, Kevin Hart was just saying like, Hey, you got to share your story, share, share why you're doing what you're doing. And the whole point is that you can uh, affect change in somebody else's life and you can uh, add something to them that it's knowledge that nobody can ever take from them. They can support their family, their future family. And the, it's all about family. HVAC is a tool. I love HVAC. It's a tool uh, to support your family. And that's the most important thing. That's awesome. You see, all the people that we've talked to, everybody had a different background. We haven't talked to one person that had the exact same background. Everybody got started in a trade in a completely different way. And this is what inspiration I want you to have is seeing that no matter where you're at, if this is something you're interested in, this is something you can do. And it doesn't just take one person to learn. There's a whole different variety of stuff to learn. I love it when I look at it, I've explained something or understand something, and I go and see how Craig's doing it. I go see how Brian's at it. I go see how somebody else is teaching or, or transmitting this information, and I apply some of that. And also something that I may say may be completely confusing to you. And go see it from Craig. Go see it from somebody else. The more different directions you can see the same thing the better it's gonna make you and so I've had a lot of people you'll ask hey well you know Craig does this that way and I'm like that's awesome and I love the fact that we are a team like we work together and we're friends and we're colleagues in this industry and all we're trying to do 
as help because we love what we do. And we, we talk all the time. We get carried away. Our wives are like, oh, my gosh, would you guys stop talking about HVAC? Please, you're killing us. Uh, <laughs> but this is what we love. Like, we truly love this. And more than anything, we love helping you guys. So I know you guys asked about videos. Like, Ty, can you do this video? He has these videos. He's awesome. He's an inspiration to me. So please go check out Craig's stuff. If you're looking for a book, there it is. And also Brian Orr. And there's so many other great content people here. This whole symposium is filled with brilliant, smart people. The key is never stop learning. Now, what advice would you have for somebody new getting into the trade? Dig for information, ask questions, be respectful, be a hard worker. If you show those traits, uh, other people are going to notice that. Even if you feel like they aren't noticing that, the employer is going to notice that. I left my first company after several months and that, and it just was not a good work environment. And, and what I say to people is if you feel like they're not teaching you, you know, you also have to check yourself and make sure that you're uh, working hard enough in order for them to do that because that's an investment on their behalf. I left there and I found out that the employer was very upset at the employees because you know they weren't maybe teaching me and they said, hey, that, that was a hard worker. We just lost somebody. You know, and I went to another company and, and I asked the, he was a foreman of like 30 years. And I said, hey, do you mind if I ask you questions at lunchtime? You know, I'm, you know, can I ask you questions while we're working as long as you believe that I'm not slowing down the workflow? Because I don't want to do that. And I said that to him. He respected that. And he said, yes, yeah, let's do it. And so he invested in me. I can invest in others, and it's just this, this onward thing that we can do for each other. As you help others, it, it helps you. When, you. when you're the teacher in your company, eventually, you know, the new employees kind of come through that and through your training, and you're able to impact their lives, you're able to help them and their family or their future family become better. That makes you more valuable as well. And it gives you peace and joy in your heart being a teacher teaching anything you know. You don't have to be a, a quote unquote teacher. Even if you know or feel that it's not a lot, you definitely know something that you can give to somebody else. You can also encourage. Encouragement goes a long, a long way in letting somebody know that you care. You can just be teaching the person that's in your van. That, that is awesome and that's the key. That's awesome, Greg. Thank you so much. Thank you. And never stop learning. Thanks for having me. Awesome.